Hey YouTubers, it's Steve again coming from Reseate, my YouTube channel that seeks to aid and benefit people by helping them be more aware and informed of their fundamental perception reality and how that can affect them, aid them, and hinder them in different ways and relationships. Degrees of freedom, what they believe they are capable of doing, what you believe you can be as a human being, and then how groups of people coming together with fundamental perception reality aligned with truth or more and more accurately aligned with truth, how that can change the world. Today I'm going to do a short video. Um, the, ex the extension of this video on my previous one about on effortlessness is more more like how this would play out. Because if you see people that are living lives of effortlessness, this, this, they're going to come across as being very hard workers. And then there's then it's, then the question becomes, well, what do you mean when you say effortless? Because they're working their ass off, and that's not you know that takes effort to work hard. This is how effortless works on a spiritual level. One of the reasons that breathing requires you can intentionally do you know breathe harder or, or shallower or more or less frequently or whatever you want to do but in the background if you do nothing you will breathe now the reason that is is because in order if you don't breathe you die and so the way this is set up on a physiological level is that your body will breathe on breathe on its own you don't have to make the intentional decision to breathe because the, the default the default assumption is you want to be alive so and there's other things like this like for example being aware like you think that you know well, with modern society, it seems difficult, but but generally, awareness is a default assumption. Like if you exist, like the the idea of being a sentient life form, a conscious sentient life form means that, that your awareness will be the natural result of that. You can make yourself more aware or less aware depending on if you whether or not you choose to pay attention. But awareness is again effortless. Another thing, another example of this is desire. When you want something, it takes no effort to want something. Like it might take effort to try to stop yourself from wanting something, but then you have to ask yourself if you don't want something that you want, what are you really wanting? So think about that one for a while. But but generally, like let's say that you see a girl and she's pretty, and you and you're attracted to her. It, did you take any effort at all to be attracted to her? And the answer is no. It just happened. So there's there's all these these things. There's other things like this too. But when you put them all together, what you have is there are ways, there are actions you can take that are effortless because they're the default assumption of you being a sentient conscious life form. Uh, testimony I can give, when I first started down my path, started doing Qigong or energy work, um, I literally spent every day at work, I worked a 40 hour a week job, or, and I was at a different job back then, but anyway, so they, I had two breaks, I had two 15 minute breaks and a lunch, that was 30 minutes. And all three of those, every day from April 2013, end of April 2013 until about July, sometime in July, I don't remember, of 2013 when there was a work day I would be out you know I had this beautiful place behind the parking lot in the woods where there's a riverbed and all this great stuff it's beautiful but uh, I'd be out there doing energy work and and I went there every break and every lunch for for weeks and weeks I was out there doing energy work until one day in July I opened up the door to go outside and it is a torrential pouring down rain and I was like I can't go out there it's like if the stream could you know this the stream will be overflowing and and there would be no way and, and honestly after for the rest of the time I was at the company afterwards it didn't take a lot of rain for the stream to be overflowing to where I couldn't do that so then the question you have to ask yourself is how did it go from April May and June three times a day for you know five days a week and there wasn't raining and there were days that it rained but it didn't rain it didn't rain to the extent that the river over was overflowing which didn't again didn't take a lot so so that's how it works so like on a, on a universal level if you want to talk, add the supernatural aspect to this that if you saw me doing energy work you think I was working my ass off because I did it all the time every day as much as I could every day I was building energy and because it was my way out, like I was in a really bad place in life on all sorts of different levels. And I was like, this is going, this is that, this is the ticket. And nobody else could see it because it wasn't their path. But, but I knew it was, and I had my ticket and I was out, like I was gone. And it took no effort for me to find out about in Qigong. And it takes no effort for me to do Qigong. And Qigong is, is the lack of effort. Like when I'm not doing Qigong, I have to put effort. Like if I go a weekend and, you know, let's say I'm on vacation, I can't do Qigong. Like that's the effort. And so, am I working my ass off? Yeah, but is it is it am I really putting forth effort? And that's that's what when I say effortless, that's sort of the effort thing I'm talking about. And then when you're in that place, the universe will start bending to, to the point where it doesn't rain when you're out there because you the very the very act of the effortlessness that you're exerting to you know embrace whatever goal you're going towards, like like things will things outside yourself that you wouldn't that no one can say you have control over will start bending towards your favor. 
and I believe that's God, you know, you know, being with you or whatever, you know, walking with God or whatever, you know, that's my personal belief. But however you want to lay it out, like th th this is a, a real phenomenon that works for a lot of people. And when you see really, really successful people that are good people, like I've, I've, I've yet to see a, a highly successful, good human being that doesn't do this or that, that, yeah. So basically every good human being that's highly successful I have that I have heard of or met, I'll dig just enough, a little bit more into their personal story to be like, yeah, they're doing this. So, and then the the beginning of the effortlessness is the desire. So you talk about it takes no effort to be to to be um, to have desire to do something. So so then what you have to ask yourself, if you don't have a desire to do anything that would lead to what I'm talking about here, then the question is, well, what what is that thing you know that is that is in everybody that that would then plug you in and allow you to to live a life like this? Because you can't. You, I mean, if you go out and seek it, you know, it's the very act of the seeking is the effort that may prevent it from coming to you. And really, you have to understand that these things will reveal themselves to you if you just, it's just that the, the effortlessness of being aware until something comes to you, the effortlessness of desire. And then, and then if you ever, you know, freeze up or just, are you breathing? It's like, if you're stressed out, you'll be, you'll notice if you check your breath, if you're stressed out, if you're tense, you know, you stop breathing and then you know you're not, you're not aligned with that path. So it takes effort to stop breathing, but uh, but yeah, this can come to anybody. And again, the, the 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 only secret, if there is one, is that if you try to make it happen, it won't. And if if you if you allow it to happen, it will. Now, then the question becomes: Well, well, I'm allowing it to happen, but it's not happening. Well, th this is where this channel comes into play. You have to do your inner work. You have to find your mind tensions. You've got to find your spirit tensions. You've got to figure out your traumas in your past life. You, you have to, and it all comes down to the basic core of like, what is your fundamental perception of reality? Like that has to be aligned. That you have to start aligning that. If, it, if it's not aligned, then you're, then these other things aren't going to fix themselves such that you can actually be at rest or be still. Again, being still takes no effort, but how many people can be still? How many people can relax? Relaxing takes no effort. How many people can relax? Like all these things, like in order to do these things, if you can't do things that should take no effort, then the question you have to ask yourself is why are you exerting effort when you don't want to exert effort? And then there's the break in your wholeness. So, and it is, it's just, an, you got to play the internal game. Like we're, we're just brought up and taught, like if you want to do something, you've got to do it externally, but it, but it won't, it won't help. Like you can, even if you do are successful doing things externally, you still, it won't fix the internal problems. If you fix the internal play the internal game and fix that your external problems are going to fix themselves and you won't have to do anything. So that's what I mean by effortless, effortless, make it less frou-frou, bunny frou-frou or whatever. Like this is, this is legit for real, hundred percent real. If you have any questions, post in the comments. I don't know what week this is. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks. Bye.